In this video, we're gonna dispel five myths about borderline personality disorder, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. There is a huge, huge problem with the stigma around borderline personality disorder but there's also a lot of misconceptions and myths as well as a lack of education about this personality disorder and like some people who struggle with BPD don't even realize some of the myths that they might be playing into. So do me a favor, please share this video on social media so it can help educate people with or without borderline personality disorder. Let's jump into this. Myth number one, people with borderline personality disorder, all they do is manipulate and try to get attention. Well, this is a yes and a no, all right? So people with BPD, like I've covered in other videos, they do things that are fueled by these intense emotions that they get. So they might be trying to get your attention in a lot of different ways. Now, is this an intentional manipulation? Not always, but a lot of them are struggling with uh, symptoms like uh, self-harming behaviors, or they might lash out on you and all sorts of stuff. Well, part of the, the symptoms of this is that they're, they're trying to get attention, but also when it comes to self-harming, I covered this in another video, is that sometimes they just can't deal with their emotions. So they're not trying to get it for attention. A lot of people with BPD, they actually don't like these behaviors and emotional outbursts that they have. Myth number two, which is one of the biggest ones, only women have borderline personality disorder. This is not true at all. Now, there is a very big majority of women who do have BPD, but there are plenty of men who have BPD as well. So if you are a guy and you've related to some of these symptoms that I've talked about in this video or previous videos, like be sure to seek out a therapist and get a proper diagnosis. Myth number Number three is that BPD is untreatable. This is absolutely 1000% not true. I will link to another video I did right up in the info cards, but this is another reason why I want you to share this video. I encounter clients on a regular basis who think that having borderline personality disorder is like this sentencing that they'll never overcome it. And this is absolutely not true. I've discussed how, about how I had a lot of the symptoms and I live an incredible life today. So one of the best things you could do is get a therapist, all right? My channel is supported by BetterHelp Online Therapy and they have licensed therapists who specialize in dialectical behavioral therapy, which has been scientifically proven to help reduce the symptoms of borderline personality disorder, all right? It is is very cheap and affordable, so make sure you check out the description down below. But this is something that you can start moving towards like recovery and reduce your symptoms. Myth number four is that medications do not help with borderline personality disorder. This isn't true. I've actually had some comments on some of my videos about how medications don't help with BPD. Like I think one of the reasons this myth is so uh, prevalent is that people assume that a medication solves you know, a certain diagnosis. It's not true. One of the difficult parts about even getting diagnosed with BPD is that there's so much overlap. People with BPD, they, they struggle with, um, dysregulated moods, they struggle with depression, they struggle with anxiety. So medications can help. Anti-anxiety medications, mood stabilizers, antidepressants. Depending on what symptoms you have that are the greatest, you can get help through medications. I do highly recommend non-narcotic medications though because one of the symptoms of BPD is substance abuse. So last but not least, myth number five. People with borderline personality disorder are unbearable. This is not true. So if you are watching this and you're like, oh, I found out he or she has BPD, should I date them, right? Or if you're someone with BPD, you're wondering, should I date people? And I was thinking about dedicating a whole video to this if you want to, leave a comment down below. But like, it's, it's a yes and a no. Like, People with BPD, like I've mentioned, they can get treatment, they can get better, they can have their symptoms under control, they can find this balance. So even though they've been given this diagnosis, they're perfectly fine individuals. Um, I'm going to bring a guest on my channel pretty soon who's been diagnosed with BPD, and she's great, she's awesome. I'm somebody who uh, had symptoms of BPD, but I'm all right to be around. So I think the, the thing is, is like, is this person actually getting help for their borderline personality disorder? So say you meet somebody and they say they have BPD, like one of the questions I would personally ask is, 
Are you seeing a therapist? What are you doing to treat your BPD? Because they can be just like everybody else and you don't even realize that they struggle with this disorder. Much like people who struggle with depression and anxiety, it doesn't make them unbearable. Now, do they have a lot of behaviors that are difficult to deal with? Like if it's like your son or daughter or your husband or wife, like yes, it can be, but treatment is available. Thanks for watching this video. I hope I helped educate you a little bit. And if you have any other myths about BPD that you would like to dispel, leave them down in the comments below, okay? But again, please do me a favor and share this video. Help educate people a little bit more about borderline personality disorder, all right? And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos to help you out with your mental and emotional well-being. Click that little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out my whole borderline personality disorder playlist, boom, right there for you. all right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. Get rid of the myths, and I'll see you next time.